Welcome to Barefoot in America. My name is Kathy Kessler and I'm here in Augusta, Missouri, my hometown, bringing you a yin yoga practice. If you like what you're seeing on this Barefoot in America channel, please subscribe, like, comment, and share to help us build this channel. And you may notice by now we're on practice, I believe 50, that we are alternating between yang and yin practices. Such a great complement to one another. We need all things in our life from the active flows of a yang practice to the more passive restorative yin, incorporating those concepts of myofascial release, being, giving ourselves time to be a little passive. So we're gonna do five postures today. We're gonna hold each one for about four to five minutes, taking a pause and savasana between them. So we're going to lie down in a moment and use the long strap to stretch out the hamstring. So begin first by just sitting nice and tall. Just take a moment to connect with your breath, to become fully present in this moment, leaving behind all the activities of the day or yesterday, and not worrying about tomorrow or later today for it hasn't yet arrived. Just be here now. Maybe put your hand, your fingers in some sort of mudra, thumb to index finger if you like. Hands resting on the knees, tall, long spine, breathing deeply. And feel yourself settling in. Feel your sits bones rooted to the earth. Sense the length and the natural curves of the spine. Feel the breath flowing in and out as you bring hands to heart center and Anjali Mudra, if that's meaningful to you. With a gentle bow of the head, set an intention for today's yoga practice. Release your hands, and then we're going to take a moment. I'm going to roll out my blanket. We're in Klondike Park on the white sandy beaches here in Augusta, Missouri. And I'm just going to um, take my blanket. And if you do a yin practice regularly, this is a great way to add just a little padding underneath you. So then lie down on your back. We're going to start first with our piriformis stretch. So laying on your back, get settled in. Bend your knees with your feet flat. Cross your right ankle to your left thigh. Two choices. For a simpler version, both hands on the right knee. Pull the right knee up and over towards your left shoulder. Getting a stretch in your glutes. Do your best to keep your pelvis on the ground. Or right hand between the legs. Pull left knee to chest. Holding the thigh or the shin, depending on your flexibility. Whichever shape you chose, take a moment to just flex your right ankle, lining the second, third toe up with your kneecap. I'm just going to stay here breathing, bringing our awareness into our right hip, buttock, anywhere we feel the biosintegrity, biotensegrity of this shape, meaning that there's something pulling, something compressing. How when one thing stretches, it impacts another part of our body. Just be with the felt sense of the experience. Doing your best to keep your pelvis grounded to the earth. And that the bend is coming from the ball and socket joint of the hip. Creating that tug in your right glute and buttocks region. Maybe your outer hip and thigh. Just notice what you do feel. The right foot is active at the ankle. The left foot just relaxed.
I'm just saying to yourself, I soften. I let go. Letting yourself melt more and more with each passing breath. You simply feel the shape you've created in your body. Softer and softer. Finding the peace and calm from within you. Not sure if the mic is picking it up, but it sounds like there's been a wedding in the background. Sometimes there's external noises around us and we can be joyful for the person celebrating and still stay calm and centered with inside ourselves. Peace isn't about making it peaceful everywhere, but finding that peace within. Many times when we're doing YouTube videos, we're in our own home, and maybe there's still some activity around you. Just let yourself continue to melt and center yourself. Just being fully present with inside your body. I'm just going to be here for a little bit longer. Just a couple more deep breaths. And as we release it, we find our way to Savasana. So set the left foot down, uncross the right leg, straighten both legs, and simply take a moment to pause here in Savasana. Notice how it feels in the right hip. Maybe you can sense a little more length in that leg. And then preparing for the other side, bend your knees with your feet flat. Your left ankle crosses to your right thigh. Choice A was to put both hands on the left knee, drawing the knee towards the right shoulder. So it's an up and over diagonal pull, doing your best to keep your pelvis rooted to the ground. Or release the knee and pull the right knee to your chest, either holding the thigh or your shin, depending on your flexibility. Either way, take the time to flex your left ankle. Winding second, third toe up with your kneecap. And then just hanging out here, breathing slow and steadily. Let yourself just melt and soften here. Feel your pelvis, your sacrum rooted to the earth. Feeling that deep, deep stretch in your left hip, buttock, outer thigh. Wherever it is you feel it. And coming to your edge, remember you're never forcing anything in the yin practice. You're just finding your edge, the barrier, the place where it tugs without being too intense.
And as you stay here, just feel yourself softening. Feel how that stretch sensation is evolving and changing. Giving yourself permission to melt and let go. Sometimes things start off really, really tight. And as we hold them, we can feel it shifting. Sometimes it even gets a little more intense before the let go happens. Just always remember never to force that you can stay with your breath, gentle and easy. Just a couple more deep breaths here in the piriformis stretch. And gently release the right leg down. Uncross the left. Straighten the legs. Take the pause. And then grabbing your strap next. If you have the 10 foot strap, you can put the strap under your upper back. If you don't, you'll just hook the strap on your foot. We're going to start with the right leg. So take your right foot up into the strap. Simply send the right heel skyward. Snug up the strap to the place where it's supportive enough that you don't have to hold on to the strap. Left leg coming straight out of the hip. Kneecap on the left pointing skyward. And then you want to elongate out of your right heel. Spread your toes a little wider. And then take your arms in a T, a cactus, overhead. Whatever would feel therapeutic to you in this moment. Slow, steady breathing. Just a few more deep breaths here. Notice the stretch in the right hamstring, maybe in the right calf. And notice how it's starting to evolve and change. And simply give your right knee a hug. Remove the strap, set it on your belly, straighten the right leg. Just take a short pause. We're going to go right into the left side. Give your left knee a hug. Hook the strap to the bottom of your left foot. Grow the left foot skyward. You need to snug the strap up at all. Take the time to do so. Right kneecap and toes pointed to the sky. Growing out of your left heel, broadening your toes, 
and then deciding where you want to rest your arms for this one. Settle in and simply be with your breath. And simply feel how this stretch is evolving and shifting and changing for you. Maybe it gets a little tighter feeling. Maybe you feel more length. Just be with the sensation. Just a few more deep breaths here, softer and softer, longer and longer. And give your left leg a hug, remove the strap. Set it on your belly, straighten left leg. Take the time to give both legs the hug. This one I usually don't do. So hook the strap to the bottom of your feet and then grab a hold of the tail of your strap, taking legs into Baddha Konasana. The strap will slide down to your low back and simply snug it up enough to hold your legs in the bind of Supta Baddha Konasana. If you need to Shift the strap around, take the time to do so. Just find that space where it feels snug and like it's supporting you in the shape. Then take your hands behind your head, creating the diamond shape with your arms and legs at the same time. Just spending a minute here in this shape, opening up your hip adductors, the inner thighs. Allowing for hip lateral rotation. Maybe as you breathe here, you feel it just letting go in your legs a little more. Just be with what is. Meeting yourself right where you are. It's perfect. Show up for you in this moment. And show up for yourself from a place of love and compassion. Hmm. Simply draw the knees back up. Uh, bring your feet towards you. Unhook the strap. You can take the strap away completely. And pause in Savasana.
And stay in Savasana as long as you have time for it today. No hurry to get up off the mat. Just give yourself a few moments to melt, to soften, to let go and surrender even more. And I thank you for joining me on the mat today. Wishing you lots of love and light. Namaste.